All right, this is Nate Story, co-founder of Bright Agritech, and uh, today we're going to talk about manure, everyone's favorite subject. So everything in the world poops, but not all poop is created equal. And today we're going to talk a little bit about um, picking the right manure to incorporate into your uh, market garden, um, or when you're just taking a, a brand new soil and prepping it for gardening, uh, what you ought to be looking for. So uh, yesterday, or the day before, uh, we had a friend of ours deliver about 15 yards of um, horse manure that he's been composting over the last couple of years, and it's pretty good stuff. And also some uh, some steer manure, some some cow manure. So um, essentially, uh, what I'm going to talk about real quick is is what what to look for in a manure, and uh, what kind of manures are best. So. Before we get started, let me let me just kind of introduce the terminology. You're going to hear people talking about um, manures that are hot um, or green. Those are two really common terms um, in regards to manures. Um, hot manure basically just means that the the nitrogen content is really high and it can uh, burn your plants. It just means that it's too rich. It's too hot. Um, if you incorporate it into your garden, um, you're going to get pretty poor growth, or you're going to get um, your plants are going to die. They're just not going to do so well because it's too much. Too much of a good thing. Um, so what, you're, what you want to be looking for instead of that hot manure, that green manure, is composted manure. Okay. So that's manure that they've taken and they've set in a pile and they've turned uh, pretty regularly. And uh, what, it mean, what it does is it breaks down a lot of that nitrogen, a lot of that nitrogen will wash out or it'll be converted into biomass. So it, microbes and fungi and all those great things. And uh, once that happens, it becomes a little less bioavailable. Once you put it into your soil, um, it's more of a slow release fertilizer as opposed to just bam, instant uh, nitrates. So yesterday we spread horse manure. Um, and a lot of people talk trash about horse manure. They're, they'll say it's just, it's not that great. Um, there's not much nitrogen in it, uh, too high in salts, whatever. Um, those criticisms are sometimes fair, but if you're getting good high quality stuff, it's pretty similar to cow manure um, in, in what it does for your plants. So, um, you know, there, it's really nice and high in uh, organic matter. So you can see here, this is some of that composted um, horse manure we got in yesterday. And uh, you can just see it's, it's really good stuff, really nice. Uh, good organic matter there and it's pretty well broken down. This is the kind of texture you're looking for when you buy manure. Um, the opposite would be this. This is uh, this is an older horse apple, but it's, um, you know, you can see it's still, still kind of green. So when people talk about green manure, that's what they're talking about, that green color. You don't want that green color in your, in your manure. You want it to be good and brown. Um, so you can, uh, you can also tell a difference in how it smells. Uh, now horses, uh, you know, there's not as much nitrogen uh, compared to some other um, animals. So you won't always smell it, but once it, you wet it, and uh, once it's incorporated into a little bit of soil, you'll be able to smell some ammonia on it. Um, it will have a fairly distinctive smell, and it will be ammoniacal. So you want to kind of sniff things, and if it smells like ammonia at all, forget about it. Um, yesterday, a little bit of the load we got in had kind of an ammonia smell to it, so some of it uh, was still a little hot. Uh, so we just we moved it in with um, with buckets and with a uh, wheelbarrow, so it's kind of spread out and all mixed in together. It'll be fine. But uh, yeah, this is kind of what you're looking for. So that's that's uh, that's what you can get as far as horse manure goes. This over here is cow manure, and I don't have a great example for you at the moment. Um, Texture-wise, that's more what you're looking for. But this stuff here, you can see, is still pretty green. Still pretty green stuff. So this was caked on in a stall, probably, and they just scraped it out. And uh, because it was caked on and it was in a whole lot of oxygen or probably water getting to it, never had a chance to really decompose and get down to uh, more of that color or darker. So that's really what we're looking for. And then, of, the, of course, this chunk, this is a great example of green manure. Um, this stuff is uh, cow manure. and. Um, it's actually still kind of frozen because I just brought it in from outside. But you can see it hasn't changed a whole lot in form uh, <laughs> from how it left the cow. 
So um, basically what we're looking for is we're looking for manure that is decomposed. It's not green. It's not going to burn our plants. And um, once we put it in, it's going to give organic matter as well as all of the nutrients tied up in that organic matter uh, to our soil and to our plants over time. There are a few other uh, manures out there that are pretty available. Horse and cow tend to be the most common. Um, there's, there's swine manure, there's uh, chicken manure, there's all sorts of manures. Um, chicken manure can be pretty darn hot. So that's the one concern with any kind of poultry manure is it needs to compost and it needs to compost for quite a while. If you put it down you're just going to burn all your plants and you're going to kill your garden so you got to be real careful with it. Either that or mix it in really slowly. You can make like a manure tea or something like that out of it. Uh, beware of pathogens but um, you know sometimes that's a little bit better way to apply it if you're really concerned about how hot it is. Just dilute it way down and apply it slowly over time. So um, those are the two things to be really concerned about. You know one last thing to consider with horse manure is that it can have some salt content to it. And uh, that's an that's a accusation that's leveled pretty frequency and it's fair. So uh, be careful about where you're getting it. If you're getting it from stalls or stables where they're putting out uh, lots of salt blocks or putting out salt for their horses or supplementing in the feed, you know, just kind of ask them what they're doing. Ask them, um, you know, if they've sprayed around the stables because a lot of time you can get a batch of manure in. It's just soaked with 2,4-D or whatever they're, um, whatever they're putting down uh, to kill the weeds. So you want to ask about that as well. And, uh, you know, beyond that, you know, there's, there's a lot of options out there. A lot of people are trying to get rid of it. It's free in a lot of different places. So call around, ask around, and I'm sure you can find some good high quality manure. This is, again, this is Nate Store with Bright Agritech, and uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. As we kind of progress in here, we'll continue to talk about what we're doing. So this is our greenhouse here. We just came in through the front door, and this is kind of looking east. Um, down the rows and columns of uh, towers here. So come on in and I'll explain how everything works. So now we're at the far end of the greenhouse and you can see uh, some of the new towers that have just gone in uh, this last week and uh, some of the stuff that went in the week before over here. 